icon in the industry and really came up in the 40s. Uh, she was uh, Frank Sinatra's first love interest in his one of his very first films. Uh, she later went on to work with Jimmy Stewart, uh, James Cagney, she did Lorna Doone. She was actually with child carrying me when she did the film Lorna Doone, which I guess was my film debut. <laughs> And um, I was lucky enough uh, in my career to work with her three times. She played, uh, I worked with her in, uh, maybe four times. I worked in Perry Mason, I did an episode. Look at that. Lorna Doon, I love it. <laughs> um, I worked with her in Perry Mason. Uh, it was in an episode uh, with her there playing a, a kid running around in a park. I got to work with her in uh, Big Wednesday, which is a film I did with Gary Busey, who's also here. Yeah. That's where Gary and I first met. We've stayed very good friends for many, many years now. Um, it was a joy for me to come to this event and be able to visit with Gary for more than just a few minutes. Um, we flew out together. We're flying back together tomorrow evening. Uh, and with his son, Jake, who I've known since he was a very, very young man. Um, I worked with her in Big Wednesday. She played my mom in there. She played my mom in Greatest American Hero in two episodes. And then I worked with her again when they did the uh, Perry Mason specials for NBC with Raymond Burr. Again, they did another nine years in the early, from the mid 80s up until the early 90s. And I got to work with her for five years doing those. And then I left to do Top of the Hill on a Steve Cannell show, which, uh, which only ran about a season. Um, somebody's calling. <laughs> but I've had a long, very lucky career. Started in the theater at South Coast Repertory, a Tony Award winning repertory company in Orange County. Uh, I was with them for a number of seasons. I did a stint in the Air Force from 69 to 73. And, um, and then I came back up and went uh, back into the business and uh, did a lot of theater over the years, Pippin being amongst that. I took out a, a few national tours, uh, Pirates of Penzance with George Rose. Um, I did, did uh, my, first, my first play that I did was uh, Sound of Music, that I did a, a long national tour with. And then I began to do some film work and this and that. I studied everywhere from uh, from Hollywood up to ACT, I worked with Bill Ball briefly up in San Francisco, uh, a very, very famous director. Who, uh, and I worked with a lot of his, uh, Ronnie Bowson, a lot of his, um, a lot of his disciples, and they were my teachers. And then I've been very, very lucky over the years, and uh, done a number of TV series. I've had four TV series that I've gotten to be a part of. Uh, and recently did a stint, uh, been working a little bit again on Heroes and House MD, and I did an episode of Numbers not too long ago with, uh, uh, with a couple friends of mine, and, uh, and here I am. Oh, coming out in the fall, in, uh, later on in the spring, I did a film with Nick Stahl recently, which was a terrific follow-up to Kiefer Sutherland's film, Mirrors. So we did uh, uh, the... Uh, Follow up to that called Mirrors 2, and that'll be out later on. Directed by a wonderful young director, Frank Garcia, who did House on the Haunted Hill, the remake. And uh, this was a wonderful, wonderful script. Just a terrific horror film script, as far as those things go. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I, I got to play Nick Stahl's dad, which was a wonderful honor. He's a very talented young man. Uh, I will open up the floor for uh, questions and see what uh, what kind of uh, highlights I might uh, give to you. Yes? Uh, how is it working with uh, the mom and how is uh, the scene, it's like a two-part question, the scene, uh, the prom scene with Carrie, how is that film like your experience with that? The question was how is it like working with the Palma and uh, and uh, the scene in Carrie, what scene was that? The prom scene. And the prom scene in Carrie. Well, working with Brian De Palma, the first time I met Brian De Palma, I was actually auditioning for Star Wars and uh, for George Lucas. And the two of them were sitting there together. They decided to cast the films together. So they were sitting together, and I came into the room along with a lot of other fellows. I think they auditioned every young 
leading man at the time in, the, in his early 20s for both of those roles. Uh, uh, Kurt Russell and I ended up doing a screen test for it, with Kurt playing Han Solo and I played Luke Skywalker. And then I think, but it's not there, we switched roles. And um, it was not actually bad, not bad audition. I think Kurt has always blamed me for him not getting the role of Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> but he's had a very good career, so we're not going to cry for, for him. Um, anyway, I met Brian. We went on. I did the screen tests. Uh, Sissy Space, I mean, uh, Amy Irving and I were actually dating at the time. So she had just come back from studying at, at Lambda in, in London. And uh, we hooked up for a brief period of time. We've been very good friends ever since. And we had a, a, a brief uh, dalliance as uh, uh, more than friends for a very brief time. And then she met Steven Spielberg. So, why should we leave me for Steven Spielberg? I, I don't know. <clears throat> now she flies around in her jet and, uh, and wonders the same thing, I suppose. Um, Working with Brian De Palma was interesting because he paid a lot of attention to his actors in rehearsal for about two weeks before we started shooting. We, we worked on a reel-to-reel, -reel, old reel-to-reel -reel machine at the time. And then we would do improvs and we would talk about the scene and then he would go away and he, we would change it, he would change it. Um, he was terrific with the actors until we got onto the set. And then Brian was all about the camera and the crew and the shot. And he figured he had done his work with the actors, and that's all he wanted to hear about. And uh, basically, once we got to the set, it was, good morning, Mr. De Palma, and this is your mark, and you walk over there, and the camera's going to dolly over here, and you say your lines here. And that's pretty much what it was. Um, a great experience, but, uh, but once we got to the set, it was all about the camera and the technical side of things. I remember his room walking into his... He was living on Fountain Avenue at the time, in, uh, just off of Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood. And the entire inside of his apartment was covered with 3 by 5 cards, because he was famous for doing, um, doing his storyboards. And the whole inside of his apartment was storyboards of Kerry. I don't know how he does it now, but that's the way it was then. So uh, the, the, the prom scene was great. Worked with John Travolta for the first time. It was the only time in the, in the movie that we worked together. And I remember John and Sidney Lassick and myself and, and PJ Souls and Betty Buckley. We would all, John would teach a, a soft shoe. A couple days he taught soft shoe and because he was a great hoofer. And uh, I remember that with uh, great relish. That was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, when the prom, another note, when the prom, it, well, we did that on a set, on the inside, and when it caught fire, the set actually caught fire. The real set, the studio, caught fire. And so we had the AD saying, fire, fire, get the hoses out, and then, you know, and everybody get out, and Brian De Palma saying, keep rolling, keep rolling. It was very funny. Anyway, next question. Yes. <laughs> 